thanks Nadir for joining us and taking us through the numbers. But let's start by talking about growth. Uh, and it's, you know, it's been a strong annual growth. But sequentially, there's been a few challenges when it comes to revenue growth. Can you tell us a little more about why this is happening? What are the factors that you're attributing to this? This has been uh, possibly the, if not one of the most uh, successful years for us as an organization. We've grown about, not about, we've actually grown exactly 22.9% in reported terms and 17.6% in constant currency organic terms. Uh, this quarter, to the point that you made, we've grown in constant currency terms 1.3% quarter over quarter. Now, this is traditionally the quarter in which the GIS business, which is the business that, as you would know, we've divested at the end of this quarter. Quarter four used to be the quarter in which the GIS business used to do extremely well and show a jump. But this business, the GIS business that we've divested now, is a business that actually declined 15% in quarter four over quarter three, largely because elections in India were announced and uh, that put in place restrictions on government spending. That's why quarter four, this quarter, you see growth is being somewhat muted. Though as you would have seen as a year, it's been an absolutely outstanding year for us in performance terms. Right, so the, you know, very recently we had earnings from Cognizant and what we saw was not only weakness, but also them, well, notching down their expectations when it comes to, well, their outlook go ahead, especially from the financial services sector. Uh, I know that a lot of these challenges were very specific to Cognizant. My question then is, uh, well, what is your outlook when it comes to this specific vertical and uh, uh, what can we expect going forward uh, for NIT technology specifically? So, Agam, uh, we operate essentially across three verticals and even those verticals we tend to be very deep and very intensive when it comes to sub-verticals within those verticals. For us, the BFSI segment is largely a play around the buy side of the capital markets. Insurance we tend to spread across PNC, Speciality and LNA. And travel we tend to focus more on airlines and airports. Uh, at this point in time, uh, we believe that the fundamentals of the business from an internal perspective to the point that you made are strong. Uh, and we continue to believe that uh, what we've shared with, uh, with the market in the past around growth being robust, growth being predictable, and growth being profitable as well along the margin axis is something that we will continue to chug along with. Fair enough. Uh, you know, if you can also tell us a little more about the deal wins that we've seen over the previous couple of quarters and uh, the kind of impact they can have on revenue growth as we move into the new financial year. So we've signed uh, four large deals, Agam, over the last two quarters. This quarter, quarter four that we closed, we signed two, and we signed an equal number the in the previous quarter. Uh, our order intake numbers, and we talked about this over the last four quarters have now touched $646 million, which is about 27% higher than the order intake number for last year. Order executable is uh, stands at $390 million this year, which is about 15% higher than the number that we saw at the end of the same quarter last year. Now, as a firm, we do not give guidance, but uh, as we've said in the past, the core fundamentals of the business are strong. And the robust growth, the predictable growth, the profitable growth, which is the mantra that we've been trying to drive over the last eight quarters specifically, is the course that we'd like to continue to be on. Okay, well, you know, the other aspect as far as the industry is concerned, Sudhir, is that uh, a lot, and, as, and through your, the conversation with a lot of your peers to what is emerging is the fact that there has been a talent crunch, which is leading to rising people's costs. Uh, my question to you is, what is your observation in this case, and has that had any impact when it comes to margins for NIT technologies? So, Agam, I think it's, it's, a, it's a reality that uh, there is a fight for talent, in some ways a war for talent that one keeps reading about and talking about all the time. If you look at us, we have very successfully in the uh, last four quarters managed to increase our workforce by significantly north of 10%. 
Uh, now, getting back to your immediate question, is there a crunch for talent? The answer is yes, but I think we've been able to manage the ask in terms of onboarding people and in terms of reskilling people, A, largely because of our legacy as a firm that started off more in the training and education space and the training engine that we have, and B, by doing, we believe, what we think has been an outstanding job in terms of maintaining the operational rigor around hiring, training, and running delivery operations. So as we've said in the past, the margin numbers that we've secured and our margin numbers for mid-tiers are best in class are numbers that we think we should be able to maintain. Sure, Sudhir. I'm sure there'll be a, a lot of uh, curiosity when it comes to bearings considering uh, uh, there has been a change at the top. Uh, of course, these are early days, but if you could give us uh, any indications from bearings of whether or not there could be a change in strategy going ahead. Uh, not at this time, uh, Agam. All the conversations that I've had and we've had as a group with the bearings team uh, leads us to believe that they continue to be committed to driving value for the organization by helping uh, us and working along with the management team, and they've talked about this, to ensure that we continue to drive growth, profitable growth. So at this point in time, uh, every signal we picked up is that they are happy with the strategy that we uh, pursued, with the tactics that we pursued. And of course, we're looking forward to working with them, getting guidance from them on any changes that they might consider. At this stage, we are not aware of any.